Circuit has been an opportunity for the Whitworth to think about 15 to 25 year olds as a group of young people. How do we work with them? How do we listen to them? And how do we include their voice within a gallery like ourselves? Before we had Circuit, we didn't have a core group at all. So at the start of the programme in 2012, 2013, we were really interested in engaging with young people that perhaps didn't automatically have an opportunity to engage with arts and culture. From there, the idea was partners could help us. So partners had young people uh, perhaps that we hadn't engaged with before. We started to think about the types of organisations that were on our doorstep. Youth clubs, charities, spaces where actually young people were attending that traditionally didn't come to the Whitworth. So the core group came together from a series of outreach workshops that we ran. We went to different schools, different youth groups, different charities in Manchester with the idea of promoting this programme that we were going to be running, getting people interested in the creative activities that we were doing and kind of inviting them to come back and join the group. It's really important for a project like Circuit and an organisation like the Whitworth to work with partner organisations who have the relationships with the young people they're trying to reach because we've obviously invested a lot of time in creating those relationships and they're already formed and if we can work with the Whitworth to, to inform the projects that they're doing then it's beneficial to everybody. We really talk to the young people about their opinions and their views about what art galleries are for, what you can find in them and what they can do there. And we've got some really interesting perspectives. A lot of them were from a complete sense of either never going into the art galleries themselves, not knowing that there were things, activities happening for them, um, and then just feeling that, it, that art galleries weren't places that they could go into as young people. So we took them on a trip to London to, to the Tate Gallery. We had 27 teenagers. For them, it was the first time they'd ever even been into an art gallery, let alone <laughs> been to London. And it's really to break down those um, barriers about what art galleries are and to show them that they are spaces for them. I came to be involved because Vicky came to do a session at a group called Saturday All Sorts, which runs in Hume. They should ask us what art means to us. And, how we view art in a more personal sense. And I went on the London trip and I got completely enthralled since then. At the start of the programme, and the Whitworth was going through quite an interesting phase in its own, its own life, its own development. We were just about to embark on a major redevelopment where we were going to become Manchester's Gallery in the Park. So for the first year, year two years of the programme, we didn't actually have a, have a building. We actually started the Whitworth Young Contemporaries outside of the gallery. So we had a group of young people that started to meet every two weeks and we started to put on events out in the community. The process of co-production was a completely new way of working at the Whitworth where we were actually asking young people to come up with the ideas for their events and for them to see that all the way through. So we had young people producing the, the content of the art events that were happening. So a lot of the time the young people chose the artists that would appear at the events, sorted out the programme, also worked on operations and logistics and we would work with them to sort of make their ideas happen. Co-production is a process that the whole gallery has to work with, so they come up with ideas that they want to do and then we have to liaise with the different teams across the gallery, see whether it's achievable. And I think the other teams in the gallery have to work differently as well. I think the Whitworth as a whole has had to work differently and has had to adjust and that hasn't always been easy, but I think it's been worthwhile. <laughs> The Emerging Artists programme at the Whitworth was something that we realised would sit alongside the core group. The young artists especially had a, a range of skills and that would really support and add something to that, that core group and develop the kind of work that we wanted to achieve. I think the Whitworth Young Contemporaries residency was very, very different um, in the respect that I suppose the the focus wasn't really on us producing our own work, which was quite a difficult thing to grasp, really, because all the residencies that I've done prior to that and since then have been very much focused on producing work or producing a very specific idea. I think with the Whitworth residency, it was much more about us artistically, I suppose, acting as kind of tools for engagement for other young people. One of the things that we really wanted to do that was different with the Emerging Artist Strand was to develop young artists into social practitioners that would really help shape and think about how we work with other young people. For many of the young people that met the Whitworth Young Contemporary Artists and Residents, it was a chance for them to really understand how emerging artists could work. 
to know about new kind of platforms like digital art and to know that you could get working quite soon after having graduated from college was, was quite a major thing for them. We've been kind of pushed to go out into Manchester, find groups that would benefit from engaging with art but probably haven't had the opportunity to kind of engage in the same level that other groups and other people get to do. It's been really fun introducing them to looking at things differently, looking at things conceptually, and that's been one of the kind of really inspiring things about it, actually. It wasn't until, I think, the building reopened in 2015 that young people really got that moment of, ah, wait a minute, this, is, this was what it was all about. This was a space that could be ours. From there, there have been several significant moments uh, through the lifespan of Circuit. I'll always remember our reopening because there were so many young people around. It was really noisy and vibrant and it completely changed, I think, what a gallery open might be. And that really made our reopening something very special. The fact that we had an event on its opening night was amazing. The fact that we were given that opportunity to just showcase what we've been doing. So it kind of felt like we became very much a part of the Whitworth when it reopened. Other standout moments during the lifespan of Circuit was Warp, a festival for young people made by young people that happened in the summer that really brought together the idea of a gallery in the park. So it wasn't just a music experience or a music festival that young people perhaps were familiar with. It was an opportunity to really get young people to engage with a gallery, come into a gallery and actually see first-hand some of the things that they perhaps didn't expect or perceive a gallery to be, so that was really important. Me and uh, Helen Newman were both involved in the installation development of the Anya Galaccio Ghost Tree. We met Anya a few times to talk about developing creative ideas from and around the tree that would lead to Warp Festival, and we were just involved in the delivering of that, basically relating that project back to the Whitworth Young Contemporary Group, using our practice to develop the ideas of the festival with the young people. The size of this room. Throughout the entire period of the Young Contemporaries working with the Whitworth, I've worked with them in terms of what they can do digitally. Warp Festival has been one area where I've been more active and connected with them. It wasn't just a case of marketing the event beforehand and looking at it afterwards, it was very much working with the young contemporaries to see how digital could, yes, promote and kind of be used as advocacy and legacy afterwards, but also something that had a very real and genuine appeal over the course of the weekend to the young contemporaries and also to their interested audiences. Warp Festival was probably my biggest sort of highlight. It took four or five months of practice and sort of working with the group and then just to see everyone's faces as we pulled it off was, was great. I mean, a couple of thousand people in the park was brilliant. It was the first time the gallery as a whole saw what the young people could achieve if they were supported to do that. Um, and I think the young people themselves were surprised what they could achieve. As a gallery, we now trust young people. I think before maybe there was a feeling that, oh, well, we can't let young people do things because, oh, they'll not turn up, it won't work, etc. But now I think we really do know, because of all of the wonderful things that have happened, that actually we can trust young people who will come and do remarkable things in the gallery. And they have completely changed, I think, the culture within this gallery actually having young people put on things within the gallery, put on festivals within the gallery, is just, it says, it says kind of, it speaks volumes, I think. Um, and for me, that's why I think it's been so successful, really, because it's not just kind of been this thing that is an add-on to the gallery. I think the partnership with the Whitworth has been very successful, and we can see that because the young people we worked with in the project go to the Whitworth. We know that anecdotally. They, they go on their own to, to attend events. Um, a couple of them are still employed um, on, on the on the programme and um, hope to work in the cultural and creative sector. And also, we have been developing future projects with the, with, with the Whitworth and we're getting more ambitious now um, about the kind of work we want to do. I think it's changed the public perception of the Whitworth because of the fact that it values youth culture and also the opinions of young people. It's opened it up to so many different people. We've had people in here that have never actually even been into the gallery before and then I've noticed a lot of people coming back just to actually sort of soak in the atmosphere, which has been nice. One of the key legacies has been that we are um, more open uh, as an organisation. So um, 
when the gallery was closed and we worked all over the place with young people in different communities, different spaces, um, we said we were never more open than when we were closed. And um, actually, I think that sense of openness continues. So I think we're open to ideas, to all these young people, to, the, to kind of energy, to ways of doing things. And that's great, because actually what that means is it brings young people into the organisation. So another legacy is when you walk around this place, you will see young people here participating on their terms. I can only see it getting bigger and better, to be honest.